Now let's move on to the weighted mean. In some instances, the mean is computed by giving each observation a weight that reflects its relative importance. So the choice of weight depend on the application. So the weights might be the number of credit hours earned for each grade as in GPA. And then in other weighted mean computations, quantities such as pounds, dollars, or volumes are frequently used. So kaning weighted mean, mo na siyang gigamit kung mag-compute sa inyuhang average. So those who are running for um Latin honors, di ba? At da dapat ka mo kaon saan pag-compute sa imuhang weighted mean. So, that is your grade multiplied by your number of units divided by your total number of units. So, ang pagkuha na sa imuhang average or ka ng inyuhang makitaan ng mga list sa DL and then na ay average sa kilid, ang pagkuha na is using the weighted mean. So, how do you get the weighted mean? Ang ihang only difference with your mean is again the existence of the weight. So your weighted mean is the sum, di ba? Nagyapot ani sa mission niya symbol, sum of your weight multiplied by the value of the observation. Wherein, so that again, the sum of your weight multiplied by the value of your observation. So, if you multiply the weight and the value, you get the weighted data values. And then, you divide it by your sum of the, excuse me, sum of the weight. So, that's it. Because here, it it signifies or it still made use of the sample mean na symbol. So, if a data is from a population, you replaces the x bar. Now, let's go to this example. Let's have this example. It's here. So, you have the purchase, the cost per pound, and the number of pounds. Diba? As mentioned a while ago, weight can also mean as the number of pounds or the dollars or the value. So, in this case... In this case, what is your W and what is your um, X? So, let's add a column at the top and identify what is your W and your X. So, as mentioned, your W is the number of pounds. That is your W. Because again, it is weight. Kay mo vary man siya. Like, siya man ang value ni mo nga, mailis-ilis. So, mo na ang imuhang number of pounds. So, that's, that is your weight. Now, your x, unsa man ang imuhang um, value. Value of the observation, di ba? Kaning purchase, this is your observation. So, that is observation 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, your cost per pound is your X. Diba mo na ang value si Mohang observation? Then, ang weight of your observation is 1,200. So, we have already again, column A is your observation, B is your um, X value, and w, uh, column C is your weight. So again, how do we get the um, weighted mean? Mga bahay ka sa formula. Tanong tas formula. So, your weighted mean is your W multiplied by your X. Diba? Mano siya? Your W multiplied by your X and then ang iyaha da yung sum. So, for how do we get the numerator? Diba? Kaniya to ang nitaon. So, ang una tong buhaton is W Multiplied by your x. So, if atong i-manual ni siya. Times your x. So, here we have your weighted data values. So, these are your weighted data values. So, we'll see and want it all in the middle. Okay, there. Now, again, what we need is the sum. So, meaning... Kanisha, ato ano na siyang i 
total. So, sum of your W times X. So, we have right there. Let's do this. 18, 500. So, this is already your numerator. Mono ni mo ang kaninga area mo. Muhang numerator or the sum of the weighted data values. So, your weighted mean, therefore, your weighted mean is then your sum of, oh, that we forgot one thing. We have the numerator and then for our denominator, the denominator is simply the sum of your weight. So, sum aning imuhang column C. So, to? So, its sum is 6 to 50. So, your weighted mean is again your sum of your date, weighted data values divided by your sum of the weights. So, that would be 2.96. So, let's see here. So, if you can see, the sum is, or the weighted mean rather, is 2.96. So, na siya. Next is... <clears throat> Next is your geometric mean. So, geometric mean is calculated by finding the nth root of the product of n values. It is often used in analyzing growth rates in financial data, where using the arithmetic mean will provide misleading results. Arithmetic mean, meaning katong, atong ipang compute nga means ganiha. It should be applied anytime you want to determine the mean rate of change over several successive periods, be it years, quarters, or weeks. Other common applications include changes in population of species, crop yields, pollution levels, birth and death rates. So, geometric mean ang ginagamit ana. So, the formula for geometric mean is... Um, this one. This is the formula for your geometric mean. And this can be used, or if you have a cycle, so pader ni mo siya compute. So that is your x bar, yan siya g sa obos or subscript, and then the nth root of your product sa kato yung mga values, yung mga data values. So given this example, Oh, I have not copied it. I'm sorry. So, let's just refer to here. Given this example, so, let's zoom it. So, we have here 1 to 10. We have the return and the growth factor. So, which among this... So, which among this is the... Or how do we get for the geometric mean? Again, used in analyzing growth, man siya, no? So, as you can see here, now, ah, I don't know, that's just much values. Your growth factor is your x values. So, 0.779 down to 1.021. So, i-multiply na ni mo sila tanan with each other, 0.79 times 1.2, or kanina din yung nasa obos, and then, the product, imuha siyang i, 10th root. Nga nung 10th root man. Kaya 10 man kabuk, imuhang values, imuhang number of observations, imuhang data. So, 10 divided out, 10th root of the product. So, if mukha yung 10th root, so, na kay 1.02. So, 1.02 is your geometric mean. So, muna siyang pagkumpa sa imuhang geometric mean. So, kanisha is 
Okay, so what are your geometric mean? And for the average growth rate, kani is application na nasa. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so, katong yung mahang geometric mean minus one times one hundred. So, ang yung average na growth rate is two point um, nine percent. So, ano nasa? And then, kato siya is the cycle method. If mo make use ka of Excel, just make use of the function nga geo mean. So, kana na siya. Mo na siya ang pagkuha sa imuhang geometric mean. Just make use of the kuan nga geo mean. So, 